welcome to you many thanks for finding time to be with us on this week's edition of the program now don't forget to remain your source for all the latest happenings in the world of insurance my name is Lucy Lupe it's my pleasure to be here on our lineup this week, we bring you highlights from the 2021 National Insurance Brokers Conference and Exhibition, which climaxed with the investiture of Barrister Rotimi Edu as the 21st President and Chairman, Governing Board of the Nigerian Council of Registered Insurance Brokers, NCRIB. The national conference which preceded the investiture ceremony was organized under the theme, Innovation, Strategy, Opportunity, at the Council Secretariat Alagomeji Yaba. Guest speaker was Mrs. Rashidat Adebisi, Chief Client Officer at the Mansard Insurance. The conference, as expected, provided yet another platform for the brokerage fraternity to look inward as critical stakeholders in the insurance ecosystem. From the serious discussions, delegates, friends, and well wishers proceeded to the Lagos Marriage Hotel for the very colorful investiture ceremony of barrister Rotimi Edu, fondly called King of Boys by friends and associates. The ceremony was chaired by former president, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR, who joined the event virtually. Many are without doubt that barrister Edu's tenure as president of the NCRIB will record significant success given his pedigree as a stickler for excellence. Let's check out some excerpts from the event. See, insurance is a conservative industry. Okay. It's based on trust. Say trust. But I also found out that trust is mutual. So you don't expect me to trust the insurance company when the insurance company can't even trust me. So there will be trust deficit. On behalf of the president's elect, I want to say this is a major sponsor for this conference. Can we appreciate that is um, Stambik IPTC for sponsoring the 2021 National Insurance Brokers Conference and Exhibition. Thank you so much, and we pray that your company continue to grow. An insurance broker will be a man or a woman of integrity, of honesty, of hard work because he must research and go and give you the pros and cons so that you can make the choice. From what happened to Sunday to I want to rise up and give a resounding applause. Congratulations. 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 Wow, lovely. What do you have, please? Congratulations. 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 Carry out my duties and functions with the highest level of professionalism, ethical standards, and discipline required of my office as the president of the council. I pledge to deploy my experience, professional knowledge and competence in giving four-sided leadership to the council.
What more can I say than to urge you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the lineup? Details in just a moment. Please stay with us. Insurance brokers are the pillars that hold the Nigerian insurance industry in place. The Nigerian Council of Registered Insurance Brokers, NCRIB, is the umbrella association of all registered insurance brokers in Nigeria who are by law expected to be registered by it before they can be licensed to operate in the Nigerian insurance market. Founded in 1962, and incorporated on the 9th of May 1967 as a non-profit making organization limited by guarantee under the Companies Act of 1968. Part of its objective is to organize conferences, seminars and workshops alone or in association with other institutions or professional bodies as a deem fit on general and specific areas of insurance. In line with this objective, the NCRIB recently put together its 2021 National Conference and Exhibition with the theme Innovation, Strategy, Opportunity at the Broker's House at Lagomiji, Yaba, Lagos. Guest speaker was Mrs. Rashidat Adibisi, Chief Clients Officer at Sad Mansad Insurance. Chairman was Dr. Olawale Cole, CON. In his brief remarks, why setting the tune for the serious discussion on the theme of the conference, innovation, strategy, opportunity? Dr. Cole said that insurance practitioners must develop innovative products that have been assessed by majority of the populace. Innovation strategy is a plan to create new sources of earnings for the business through product improvements. The development of new products or the optimization of earnings by maximizing revenues or minimizing cost in any business. To capture opportunities to create new markets in the insurance industry, we have to continually explore the reasons why people are not buying insurance products or not buying as much as they should or could and come up with an innovation that brings the same benefits but in a way that can be afforded and accessed. Even the same paper of a conference, the guest speaker, Mrs. Adebisi, said that insurance practitioners must go beyond transactional relationship with their customers if they want to remain in business. People talk about big data, but big data is like big English. Small data is extremely important. And if you think about data and you think about, and if you allow me to give you, you know, an example of the Yoruba culture, even things like KYC, I'm a big believer that KYC started even far beyond the financial institutions talked about it. Because when you hear about, you know, the needle that does not have a thread beneath it, our elders here can actually talk about that proverb. Um, so if you don't know, if you understand that, you know, Abereche Olokundi, does not have, you don't know how you're going to find the person. You need to know where they are from, who they are, what they do. When you put that together, you suddenly realize that, wow, data has started even before now. So how do you put it together to make decisions? The only that data is created at multiple levels now compared to before. And we need to go beyond transactional relationships. Customers said to us, you only come when it's time for renewal. All of you, plus you, plus your broker. How do you support me during the period? Brokers, I understand you know, have a lot of experience in advising customers, in giving them other value-added services. So how are we improving this? How are we understanding the new technology? A lot of more connected devices that our customers will have. 
How do we understand the interaction with all the things they have in place? If we don't learn this, we're going to become dinosaurs, unfortunately. And then loss adjusters, of course. We need to reinvent the whole claims journey between when it's reported, how it's managed, how it's engaged, how we keep information updated. And it has to be across the industry. It cannot be one company. It cannot be just one sector. Every one of us has to work together. There are lots of moral hazards in our country, we understand. But there are ways to actually break that because transparency reduces moral hazard. Having done justice to the swim paper, discussants took turns to give their perspectives. Discussants were Mrs. Bimbo or Nokomaya, MD CEO, Thick Frost Insurance Brokers Limited, and Mr. Delike Olufade John, CEO, TBS Consulting. According to Mr. Olufade, during his contribution, there is need for insurers to develop new products, but they must find innovative ways to deliver them to their customers irrespective of their location. I spent almost a session with an insurance company and all they were fighting about was the brokers. How the brokers were taking their business. How this was something. And I said, ah, what is the business? So insurance brokers want to protect themselves. Insurance companies want to protect themselves. And of course, they are just I want to protect. And I say, what are you protecting? Because if the business opens up through a, a, a breakthrough strategy, every one of us will have something to hold. Another one is uh, sustainability. I think because they are conservative people leading the industry, when they have a little achievement, they relax, they are happy. You need somebody who is continuously hungry for the next level. Insurance has and will continue to be the bedrock of modern society as it gives wings to government and private sectors to explore without fears. In his goodwill message to the August gathering, the governor of Lagos State, who was represented by the Commissioner of Finance, Dr. Rabiu Olowo, charged insurance brokers to sanction their airy members who give their industry a negative name. Too long ago, we collaborated with a conglomerate of insurance brokers to sensitize public servants in Lagos State on the importance of taking up insurance policy against unforeseen future events. We'll continue to sustain partnership and also break new grounds of collaboration geared towards moving the industry forward and increasing the capacity to contribute to the growing uh, of a sustainable and resilient economy. While as a government, we promise to continually create an enabling environment for businesses to thrive. I charge the insurance experts and operators here present to work more on gaining the public interest and confidence in their business by a way of prompt payment, prompt processing, settlement of claims, as and when due, and sanctioning of airing operators that indulge in giving the business a negative name. Given the in-depth of the paper presented, delegates had questions for the speaker and discussants. The products are developed by the underwriter, while the brokers key into the distribution. Now, we are not used to a situation where a broker collaborates with an insurer to develop specific products. I think when we begin to do things like this, we will be able to think about distribution. At the same time, we see that some insurance products are developed uh, in a way that they are difficult to build. For example, insuring your smartphone for with most uh, underwriters I've come across, you can't insure your smartphone as a standalone asset. You have to tie it to your householder or your householder, whichever one you, you have. And then, how many millennials have properties that can come under house, householder? Responding to some of the questions raised, Mrs. Onokomaya says that insurers must collaborate with critical stakeholders outside the insurance ecosystem to offer innovative products. 
if you actually do have a thinking, the thinking cap on, there are people that import the smartphones. At the point in which you're com uh, purchasing a smartphone for 52,000 Naira, I mean, if the insurance industry can partner even with the importers, and you put an additional additional premium to, to cover the face of your smartphone, some people will even buy 1,000 Naira plastic to cover the face. Can we not sell 1,000 or 500 Naira insurance at that point, partnering with them to be able to cover that smartphone? It's a question of volume. It's a question of volume. So you don't necessarily have to have it as an add-on onto your householder's um, insurance. The soft swing paper of the conference focused on building emotional resilience. Speaker was Dr. Mrs. Olufunke Oyeneye, head pharmacy department Oba Ademola II Maternity Hospital, Abelkuta. In her brief remarks at the conference, the immediate past president of the NCRIB, Dr. Mrs. Bola Onigogi, stated that the choice of the theme of the national conference was strategic. This year, National Insurance Brokers Conference and exhibition as its theme, innovation, strategy, and opportunity. The choice of this theme is in itself strategic. Innovation is not just represented by introducing or implementing new ideas or methods. Innovation is a process that involves multiple activities to uncover new ways of doing things. It should not be confused with creation since this can be defined as the act of making, inventing, or producing something. However, new innovation can be realized with creativity. People need to think out the, outside the box in order to create incremental enhances. In a usual characteristics, plaques were presented to the speakers, discussants, and the main sponsor, Stambik IBTC Insurance Limited. The ultimate concern at the annual gathering of the NCRIB is the promotion of the broken profession and ensuring that as intermediaries, they continue to look for innovative ways to distribute insurance products and services to the teeming Nigerian population. The 2021 National Insurance Brokers Conference and Exhibition of the NCRIB climaxed with the investiture of Barrister Rotimi Edu as the 21st President and Chairman Governing Board of the Council. The very colorful investiture ceremony drilled dignitaries from within and outside the insurance industry. In a valedictory speech, the immediate past president Dr. Mrs. Bola Onibogi said she and her team were able to record modest successes despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Delivering his opening remarks virtually, the chairman of the occasion, His Excellency Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, GCFR, former president of Nigeria and a grand patron and fellow of the NCRIB, said that the NCRIB needs honest and committed leadership that will uplift the profession. So that brings me to the point that I would have wanted to really talk more extensively on if I have had opportunity to be with you. And that is leadership. And when I talk about leadership, I'm not talking about leadership in the insurance, insurance brokerage sector alone. I'm talking about leadership across the board. We tend, when we talk about leadership, to think only about political leadership. Political leadership matters because politics is the master. So 
because if we get politics wrong, we are going to get a lot of other things wrong. That's why political leadership matters. But leadership at every level and in every sector must be right, must be what it should be for a human organization or our, our, our institution to make the progress that it should make. I will therefore say to you all, members of the Nigeria Council of Registered Insurance Brokers, that you need nothing left than good leadership, committed leadership, honest, uh, honest leadership, loyal leadership to your institution and to the leader, leadership that understand what your profession is all about. In his good book message, on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mr. O.S. Thomas, Commissioner for Insurance, implored the NCRIB to be open to initiatives, including the adoption of relevant technologies to build a robust and an all-inclusive insurance market. Distinguished gentlemen, the federal government is not unaware of the challenges confronting businesses, including the insurance sector, and is doing so much through various initiatives and policy rearrangements to ensure stability in the system. The world has moved many places ahead of Africa in so many fronts in insurance practice and governance. The insurance sector is a knowledge-based industry which must take issue of training of its members seriously in order to update itself with current realities across the globe. By training and retraining, we can adequately equip practitioners with modern techniques and practice from the traditional ways of doing business to a more robust, all-inclusive, and diversified channels of reaching our huge potential clients. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to use this medium to encourage members of the NCRIB to be open to initiatives, adoption of relevant technologies aimed at making the insurance market more robust and all-inclusive, especially at the time that the Commission's cardinal objective is centered on deepening penetration and developing the market. With all the serious speeches taken and the citation of the man of the hour read, Friends, colleagues, and well-wishers witnessed the investiture of Barista Rotimi Edu as the 21st President and Chairman Governing Board of the NCRIB. Barista Rotimi Edu is a charismatic, jolly good fellow, popularly called by friends and associates, King of Boys. Started his insurance career at the defunct security insurance company under the tutelage of the late Mr. Idowu Silva of Blessed Memories. His foray into the leadership of the NCRIB started during the tenure of Barista Mrs. Laide Osijo, who appointed him as the honorary auditor of the council from where he served in various capacities before his election as now the 21st president of the council. In his acceptance speech, Barista Edu said that his tenure would open channels of training to meet the needs of its members both within and outside Nigeria. Professionalism is no longer new. That the hallmark of all professions in the 
continuous acquisition of knowledge and openness to new and evolving knowledge. The insurance brokers can definitely not be an exception. This channel will open channels of training needs for its members within and outside the country, while reinforcing within the country and without. We will also open up relationships with new ones. Being the main professionals in the insurance value team, the brokers under my tenure will be an encyclopedia of knowledge and professionalism. Strategic government and institutional relations. It is noteworthy that the council has recorded phenomenal states in, in strategic government relations under the immediate administration. Thus, in government houses, palaces and renowned institutions were open for the NCRIB. However, since the largest room in life is the room of improvement, this channel would open new discussions of qualitative relationships with more government institutions with a view to registering the brand of the brokers in their consciousness as valuable allies. Many are without doubt that a tenure of Barista Brotimi Edu as President and Chairman Governing Board of the NCRIB will open new vistas for the broken profession in Nigeria. I'm going to be We at Almond join others to wish the 21st president of the NCRIB a successful tenure. That's our time on the program this week. Many thanks for your company. Do keep a date with us, same time, same station next week for a fresh package. Now, if you miss any part of today's show, you can check it out on our YouTube channel, Almond Finance TV. There are tons of exciting videos there to see. Just like and subscribe. You can also connect with us on all our social media platforms. My name is Lusunbe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.